Hi guys, today we're looking at an upcycling project using tin cans. Uh, we're going to try and think about taking the existing form and shapes of the cans to create some useful items out of uh, household waste. So first of all, I'm going to come up with some initial design ideas sketches, uh, then I'm going to try out some modelling techniques, and hopefully by the end I'll have a couple of cool projects that you can try at home with limited resources. Cheers! Okay, so first of all I'm going to sketch out a few ideas for um, some, some designs that I come up with uh, using, the, using the can, using the bean can. Okay, so I've got some ideas sketched out. At the moment, I'm most interested in these sort of shaker cup and ball uh, ideas or the planter. I like the idea of these two layers, and I think if I use a range of different colors, as well as using some of the natural finish of the tin, that's gonna look really cool. Um, so tuna tin, I've peeled off the outside, and you'll see this has got a smooth metal finish, uh, which is quite nice on its own. That could work well for a variety of functions, uh, as it is at the moment. But I wanna try and add some other functionality to it. So if you look at this, the way that the, uh, the top has been removed from the can could present a hazard. So we need to be careful. This edge here uh, on this can is incredibly smooth. It's been removed very smoothly. But if you've got a sharp edge, wearing gloves, you can use a pair of pliers and you can squash the edge down around there. Or alternatively, if you have a file, you can file that edge. The other way is just to avoid using that edge completely. If you're using something like a planter, there's no reason for you to touch the inside of there. And then when you plant it up after you've decorated it, um, it's gonna be nice and safe because your fingers aren't gonna be inside. The bigger concern is if you're working on something like a uh, stationary holder or a toothbrush holder for indoors where you're gonna be putting your fingers inside the container, you need to make sure it's very safe on the inside uh, before you proceed. Otherwise you could be creating a product uh, that's dangerous. Right, I'm gonna peel off the outside of this. You'll see that you get quite a nice finish on the outside of a bean can underneath this layer. So there's this ridge that I've represented in my drawing slightly. Uh, there's a bit of adhesive here, but you can remove that with some uh, washing up liquid and a scourer, but actually it's quite nice and neat. Now this can's got exactly what I'm talking about, a very sharp edge there. So I'm just gonna squish that down. If you don't have any cans like this, you could do similar things using uh, jars, but obviously with the jar, you can't make any holes in the sides. So you're gonna have to do a slightly more basic product with the jar and consider more just the decoration of, of it and how you'll work with it. Okay, I'm now gonna, for this one, uh, work on the, on the planter. So I wanna work out three even hole positions around the edge of here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna measure by taking a strip of paper, wrapping it around the outside, and then use that as a template to very carefully punch through my holes around the outside edge. Okay, so I'm putting my gloves on for this bit to make sure I'm nice and safe. Uh, I've got the positions marked. Um, now, depending on your age and experience, you might want to get a, an older person or adult to help you with this stage. Um, I'm gonna drill through these points where I've marked, uh, including the 
the end of the paper there because that's one of my points. Um, if you've got a, a braddle uh, that you can stab through, or a, or a nail, sharp nail, that'll help you to send to the point. But you must have gloves and you must be very careful. Uh, and then I'm gonna drill through that with a high speed steel drill bit. If you don't wanna do this stage or you haven't got the means to do it, you can use a, a glue gun to glue it on. Or alternatively, you could uh, have the string on the outside and then you could wrap uh, insulation tape or similar tape around the outside in a contrasting colour to hold it in position. Now obviously that has created some sharp points and you'll notice where my drill uh, has gone through to the other side I've made a little donk there but it doesn't really matter because I'm the way I'm going to decorate it. Now as this is going to be a planter these holes are gonna be completely covered up, but again, we could file them uh, to make sure it's nice and safe. And I'm also gonna repeat the process on the tuna can. Okay, I'm now gonna start thinking about decoration. Um, remember, if you don't have the means or don't want to drill the holes through, you can consider making uh, the basic planter or pot and decorating. A good decoration technique would be um, decoupage, which is collage effectively on a 3D object. So you get some PVA glue, cut out loads of different images and paste them on. So perhaps you could get uh, botanical themed images like plants against like a bright background, like a pink. You could paint on this with standard uh, acrylic paints if you mix them with a little bit of PVA so they'd adhere onto the outside. Or you could design your own label by wrapping a piece of paper uh, and have a look at maybe like Andy Warhol's famous Campbell soup piece. Design your own uh, label to go on the outside and just decorate the can in that way and use it for pens or, or other items. Okay, so I'm gonna use some spray paint for mine. You could do the same thing using normal paint, mask off and then paint. I just happen to have some spray paint, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Spray paint's dried, I'm gonna do the uh, most satisfying bit of removing the masking and seeing how well it's come out. I'm pleased with the, uh, the contrasted colours I've got there. There's a little bit of residue left from the tape uh, that I'm just going to clean up. Uh, and now I'm going to assemble it, put it together with the string, uh, and it's ready for planting. So I've added one more hole that you didn't see earlier in the video at the centre here to allow the excess water to run and drain through into the base pot. But depending on what you're planting up, you may not need that, and you might be able to part them further apart so you've got two different plants uh, hanging uh, with a gap between them. So I finished my product, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it, it's come out how I wanted. Um, if you don't want to do the drilling process or you don't have the tools to do it or you're concerned about the safety, then obviously I've suggested some other methods of attaching the string. The base part could be used as a second planter. I was thinking I could make one of these that used the larger cans and they just continued all the way down uh, as a vertical planting uh, solution to keep slugs and other insects away from your plant. So I might continue this idea and work on something else. There are a few ideas at the beginning that you could work with um, it's just one example, but it shows you how I think you can make quite an attractive product uh, quickly using household waste items, which is the whole point of this upcycling project. Cheers. Oh,